I think General Mohosi is demonstrating two things. First, that indeed the power in Uganda does not rest in institutions that govern Uganda. Because he's a member of UPDF, UPDF has no power over him. Every day in those tweets, he's breaking the law. But the UPDF cannot check him. He's a senior advisor to the president, but the president cannot check him. <laughs> the president also advise, uh, you know, apologizes on his behalf. <laughs> he cannot check him. So I think he's demonstrating that, uh, you know, all these institutions are useless. Secondly, secondly, I think what uh, he's also trying to do is to create, attempt to create a new power base that may attract the attention especially of young people which who have lost faith and interest in NRM and its leader. So he wants to recreate uh, create something that appears new although it is exactly the same thing. So he's, he's attempting to, 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 to attract attention especially of young people that had lost any faith in the government. Do you see capacity in him of leading the, 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 the nation? Not from what he has done or, or said so far, and, and there isn't much that he has done, of course. Uh, so really I have nothing to, to go by. Uh, but you see, regardless of what my own uh, views uh, on his leadership qualities or absence of those in him. The critical thing is that he is perpetuating abuse of the constitution, abuse of the laws, and the violation of rights. Now, those in themselves disqualify him from being somebody to be considered as a leader. Uh, but of course, he, he can, in the future, uh, rehabilitate himself and so on and, uh, and present himself to the people of Uganda. But as it is now, uh, I, I think he's... Uh, is really acting against the country and cannot at the same time uh, aspire to lead the country he is uh, acting against. Amanyamo! Links to the band restaurant. Barara Katete! Ya kule terimbaga yo mwaka! A kule tima seji! Epeka kunya vila vita no desemba! Ibira viri neviri! Okutamu na mtuwaro gumwe! VIP! Mtuwaro viri! Kande meza! Mtuwaro makumi ya shetu! Ahampani izra ho! Echenya she chango! Chipsi! Kapitan Mogani! Na nechipa za bizo mtano! Yesha ya lebera me shoko seba we! Weiji! Tipo! Rasa chazi! Rista na MC! DJ Matsi! Nabandi biji! Awanyambarara! Mwishetu digide! restaurant <laughs> There has been a lot of focus, wrongly in my view, on building institutions that can fight corruption. And uh, we have a multiplicity of uh, institutions. Uh, the, those in the police, those in the IGG, those in the state house, those in uh, parliament, those in uh, 
all kinds of places uh, where there are anti-corruption institutions. It has not stopped corruption, in fact, just escalating on a daily basis. So much so that even the institutions they talk about of curbing corruption are themselves subject of investigation for corruption. And many people in those institutions have also been tried, arrested and tried. And this is because we are missing the point that is fundamental. Accountability is demanded. The demand for accountability must come from the person who has power to seek it, to seek that accountability. And, you know, public funds, when we talk about public funds, so if it was a company, for example, a private company, the people who must demand accountability in the private company are shareholders. Shareholders hold the management accountable. Shareholders demand accountability from the board of directors and from the managers of the company. Now, the shareholders in the country for the public is the public. The citizens are the shareholders of Uganda. So if the shareholders have no power to demand accountability from the managers, the managers will continue to steal as they want. And that is the fundamental problem in our country because since independence, the, lead, the people of Uganda who are the, supposed to be the shareholders, they have never raised anybody to be their manager. They have never appointed the manager. All people that have led Uganda were not brought by the shareholders. They were brought by force. In other words, the company was captured <laughs> by people who came by force and captured the company because they were not appointed by the shareholders. Doctor, in short, do you agree with the fact that what they always say that corruption was inherited from, re from, from previous regimes? regimes? Without doubt, what I'm telling you is that corruption is not a factor of regime. Corrupt, corruption is a factor of power relations. In other words, if people whose money we are talking about as being stolen, if they have no power over those who manage their money, then that money will be abused, stolen, misused as those who manage it want. Because even if these people who, whose money is being stolen know that our money is being stolen, they have nothing to do. They are powerless. So in colonial time, we had no power over the colonial government. In independent Uganda, we have no power over the government. Because as I have said, no leader has ever been brought by the people of Uganda. No leader has ever been sacked by the people of Uganda to say, we, you have not done well, get out. And they get out. Ugandans have never removed any leader. So they have no power to demand accountability. And that is what must happen for corruption to be checked. Institutions must derive their power, and they derive their power from who has power. So today's IGG, his source, the source of power of the IGG is not the people, it's the president. And therefore it's the president who can seek accountability from the IGG, it's the president who seeks accountability from parliament, not the other way around. And, and, and that is the fundamental problem that we must cure. And my last question, Doctor, we've seen how... If government is not a people's government, in other words, if government has not been raised from the people, you cannot talk about opposition. 
opposition is supposed to be opposition to a government that has derived power from the population. In other words, the opposition should be a government in waiting so that if people say, no, 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 you, you are not doing well, get out now, they can bring in the other one who was waiting. So if people have no power to remove a government, the opposition is, is useless. It's, 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 not, it's not there. And this is why I've been telling you that it's a wrong term to talk about opposition and the government. The real, the real terms is the people who are in captivity and they are captors. Those who captured the country and those who are captured. Tamazina ni Danielson in Wagava, director wa Babina Danielson Business Point, company Eruku Dirinjomu Tarazo, Tairis, Nana Stone Pitch, Chira Munonga, to emphasize in Tarazo. Tarazo ni part of finishing. Pazum construction, a finishing home to a Yamagazigo called a Tarazo, can Tarazo Namabai, Kamabarago, Bizaba Gassire, Kurjera, Gages, Buri Size Okuba Noenda, her two inch, her one inch, her whole three inch, her two at two point five, her eighty, her one na six. Mugasuga Tarazo, Chiringo Kokuba no for a finishing, Okajo Tinoni and Akuma and Kogoto. Tarazo, Ningichi, the Chokuakora, Ngu, a Chemiaka, Chad generation. Tarazo, a Chok Tiamba, the Tiamba, Opehara, innovations. I'm longer, I think, however, I did say Wakos and Casaminti. Saminti was up about the Korean Reserve and Chakos and Yokura Kinja, Ninga Sosanga, maybe Kavakawa, Conquest Taraha Tarazo. Yainaka for a Tarazo, so found you Miakan Kikumi, Unka. Mirmogu and Yogunava and Zenisha is Tinkahura Gang with innovation in Mount Guasiska. So Taraza Nukti Ambra, Jiranguva Correction Cha Generation. Aha, Nugumur Mugumuktu was a Kushoza, Ogua Tarazo, Kandogun Koku very complete Yave Huire, Nieji, Nawa Nojireva, Nivari, Kujirangun in Casiminti, Onkahiro Nivari, Notabura Museminti, or Sohozich Chen in a Chokureva. In a different colors, Kurijira, Okusava, Kerayant, Nana, we don't need to want following an name, Bayoweed, Nana Hantu, Hatuas, a Kurum Rumogue, so Aha Stoko, Ridge Kara, and Tena Hantu had a public, a Hokurva Dovu Yom, to a take over it, Kujirango, no, no, in a Kuyambona, no Gokovana, Kosa, or Muxi Murana, no Kosia. So to in a different colors. Kind of in different textures. Because oxides of karazi, because white cement, in English, different cements of colors of karazi. So, aha, because it was white cement, it was more ordinary. So, it was more ordinary. It was more ordinary. It was more ordinary cement, na black oxide, because Kwa Nina, makumi ya shatu, bina chena nemwe, alhuna ya nutu mshanshu mshanshu itano, atano ni itano, chena nemwe, abiri ni ibiri. Numano gamana wa rika sotsi, awa kuinila services, eh, zomti ndu.